in the, the new edition, um, the uh, selection of the first World War poets has been increased, as also has the, the selection of the Second World War. And um, the First World War is um, particularly important because it starts, that the early poems start with poets like Julian Grenfell, who was um, Oxford at Balliol, um, uh, celebrating the war. He was very courageous, but he was a Homeric thug. And he loved being a sniper, he loved killing people, and he said that war was, was, was like a picnic um, without the bottom of a picnic. Um, so you start with that attitude, and then gradually as the horrors dawned on people, you, you get the sea change whereby poets like Sassoon, who also started in the same spirit, um, steeped in the classics. So in the early poems you get endless repetition of words like um, uh, spear, um, helmet, um, legion. We are the happy legion, says Sassoon in 1915. Um, but then they find that war is actually not like Homer and Virgil, and the tone changes, the attitude changes, the language changes, and the war finishes with poets like Wilfred Owen, Isaac Rosenberg, um, Ivor Gurney, who are speaking a very different language and singing a very different song. And I think the First World War is a sort of hinge moment at which attitudes to war dramatically changed. There had, of course, been people who had realized the horrible, Homer realized how horrible war was. Um, but uh, in the sort of general popular imagination, the First World War really changed people's perception of war.